good afternoon, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Um, thanks for a great introduction, Michelle. I think that one of the things that is important from what uh, she was saying is this is designed to be interactive. Yeah. So we really would welcome questions, comments, points. And um, please feel free to use those chat boxes of, uh, and the questions and, and send them through. And Michelle, if you can, um, if, you, if you want to ask questions as we go through, that'd be great. There's no problem at all. Or we can save them for the end. No problem at all. So, good afternoon. Um, I uh, wanted to start really just to explain a little bit about uh, the uh, uh, agenda, what we're going to really be talking about today. So, I have to start with an introduction, although Michelle didn't do such a bad job to introduce me. Talking a little bit about what this means, MES, Life Sciences Challenges, what paperless manufacturing, what EDR really is, and then try and give the people in the audience that are listening today some kind of feeling of what this really means about building this type of solution by explaining a little bit about how the product works and the solution comes together, and then explaining some case studies and references at the end. So I've got quite a lot of uh, information that I'm going through today, and I uh, hope that it's uh, informative and uh, interesting for everybody. At the end, we'll give out my uh, contact details and would welcome the opportunity to interact or discuss with people as and when um, in the future. So, I think that I don't need to read through all of this, who am I, but I think it's nice for people to see the face at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the phone or at the end of the web conference, um, which you probably saw in the invitation anyway. Michelle just read out most of the information there, but the important thing to understand is that I'm part of um, the Siemens VSS Pharma Competence Center in Karlsruhe in Germany. We're an organization which uh, takes Siemens solutions Siemens uh, components to bring solutions to the pharmaceutical market. My speciality is in the industrial software part, and this is why I'm talking to you today about MES. And I work with my colleagues in the US and had hoped to get one of my uh, US colleagues to, to uh, talk about the uh, solution at the end part, but unfortunately a customer dragged him onto the site, so he can't be with us. Anyway, so it's just me today, but if you can ask me some questions, that would be great. Okay. The Siemens MES team, our headquarters and our real uh, uh, R&D is really based out through, uh, through Europe, in Italy, France, Germany, and in Belgium. Don't need to go into more detail than that, really. But we do have an extensive hub, and we have some competence centers as well in the US, notably in Chicago, on the East Coast, as well as many projects going on uh, on the West Coast. We're working on some biotech uh, facilities, as well as uh, throughout the US, in fact. Um, the way that we're organized as a, as, a, as a team is to work with various hubs of uh, different uh, delivery teams to be able to come and work with customers on local uh, implementations as well as global implementations. So we can work globally as well as, as, well as locally. Um, we have around about 100, I think 150 maybe a bit much, but 100 um, or so people who are working exclusively in life sciences in the MES. Uh, division. We have people who are dedicated to, to R&D, dedicated R&D to build our life sciences libraries. And related to that is the fact that we have to build a lot of quality into the processes, into the way that we're building the software. And I'll come on to that a little bit later when I talk about how we develop and deploy the solutions. It's important to understand as well that this element of quality means that we're quite involved with the ISPE in, in, in many countries, as any of you who are there. Um, involved in those organizations may already know. So, thinking a little bit about where we're coming from and, and why we're trying to uh, provide and what this can really bring to, uh, to, to you as a, as a customer, as a pharmaceutical manufacturer. I'm addressing this to people who are working in commercial manufacturing, perhaps manufacturing for clinical trials, people who are trying to be able to produce faster, uh, more effectively, um, and obviously uh, more cost effectively and uh, uh, more, more, more cheaply. The key pillars to make commercial manufacturers uh, competitive uh, revolve around these four pillars that we see on the outside. Time to market, globalization, compliance, and optimization of processes. Now, we often say or we often hear these buzzwords of innovation and operational excellence. These are nice expressions that tie these things together. If I go to my next slide and try and think a little bit about what manufacturing software, what industrial software really means for life science manufacturers. And these are the sorts of things, these are the sorts of reasons why we see our customers 
investing in these types of solutions. So time to market, what does that mean? Making the, the gap uh, less between R&D and manufacturing. Being able to bring my, my product from a molecule uh, that I'm working on, that I'm discovering, to be able to transform that into commercial manufacturing as quickly as possible by aligning the processes and the tools that my R&D team are using with the tools that my process engineers and commercial manufacturers are making, or that my, commercial, the, uh, my contract manufacturing operations, uh, CMO type companies, are, uh, sorry, contract manufacturing organizations, or CMOs, so that they have the same types of tools. So we can align and be working on the same types of processes and understanding and tools as we move from R&D into the manufacturing facility. So this means production, controlling and understanding and, and standardizing on the process. But time to market also means being able to release batches as quickly as possible. And we'll be talking a lot about release, this idea of release, review by exception, and so on. And what that means is being able to, for the product to go through the factory, to be able to uh, say that at the end of the production, that I can review this quickly, and that I don't hold products in inventory uh, while they're waiting a release, while they're waiting for a test result to come from QC, while they're waiting for us to verify the, the, uh, the raw material uh, properties, these sorts of things. We can build a much more interactive and integrated system and be able to release our batches much, much more quickly. And that I will explain a little bit later.